Hey guys, it's RJ the Osmond bringing us uh, the draft recap for the TCL season 12 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, what season is it? Hold on, let me check real quick. It is indeed season 12. Okay. So once again, that was first pick, which was great. Um, I knew what I wanted immediately. I forget what I wanted last time. But... Uh, I don't remember. Um, do you know I'm going? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. But uh, this one I want Chi and Pal first because it's insane ability stats and uh, yeah, Chi and Pal was my first pick with uh, Sword of Ruin, which. Sorry, hold on, I'm a little sick, so I gotta... Uh, my throat's a little bit. But, uh... I didn't know this thing got Ice Shard and Sucker Punch, but it does. So even when it's slow, it's still, in, still to be powerful. Um... And then for my next pick, I decided to go with Volcarona. Um... Many of you know how much I love Volcarona. I run. I, I, I love this thing. I've used it so many times. I'm gonna just get rid of this. Um, uh, look at its stats: 135, 100. That's that's really good. And then with 85 it, with its health, it can even be run defensively with Quiver Dance, so that uh, it can wall stuff. See, so yeah, I get Quiver Dance. Also gets Will O S U turn. I can run it defensively. It gets Giga Drain. Does it still have Roost? It has Morning Sun. No Roost. Um. So I'd already planned. I had yet to plan out my draft. I was just picking out mods that I thought were really good. Um, I normally plan out my draft immediately upon starting, but I didn't do that this time. Uh, I pick up a Spathra, who has opportunist and speed boost with Lumina Crash. Honestly, it's only worth like 12 points or 14 points or something like that, and that's insane because it's, it's, it's good. So, um, my next pick, this is going to be a shorter video because like I said, I'm sick, so I'm just trying to like go through this. Uh, I should have done this like a, a week or two ago. Because I've already had my first two matches. I'm having my third match today. Um, but I have yet to actually record. I recorded the uh, live things for the two matches. I just haven't recorded this yet. Obviously, we're recording it right now. Um, my next mon was Rotom Wash. Um, Hy Hydro Pump with Thunderbolt, uh, Trick, Bolt Switch, Will-O-Wisp. Uh, it's just all around a good mon. Its speed could be better. But it's bulky and it hits decently hard. So, my next pick. So, I've gotten some decent offensive mods, so I wanted something defensive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry about that, I felt a cough coming on. So, I decided to go with Cresselia. But, however, during Grace, I swapped out Cresselia for Florges because I was wanting to get Cloud Zire, uh and use it as my specially defensive wall, but I didn't get Cloud Zire, so I decided to pick up Florges instead. Um, special defense is off the charts. Uh, could be better defensively, like physical defense. It's also pretty good just offensively as well. Um... It gets Calm Mind Draining Kiss. What are you? It doesn't have any good abilities, though. But, uh. Yeah, it gets Synthesis as well. Uh, excuse me. Um, my next pick, I wanted a bulky Grass type. And I wanted one that could heal itself. So I went with Sinistra. New Pokemon, never used it before. Hospitality. It 
Wait a second. Hospitality only works for its for its allies. Well, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know. It was maybe it was Macha Gacha that I wanted it for. I don't know. But I also get Scald, Shadow Ball, Trick Room, Strength Zap, uh, Calm Mind, Iron Defense. All in all, it's still a good mod. Um, so next up, I I wanted to think, it's it's been two weeks since I've drafted, so I can't really remember what I wanted instead of this guy. But I picked him up anyways. That's Fortress. Um, Fortress is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in draft leagues because I've used him so much. He's got spikes, stealth rocks, and toxic spikes. He's got rabbit spin. He's got that berry explosion, which nobody really thinks about. He's got body press as well. Um, and then on to one of my Terra captains, Hariyama, who is Terra normal fighting and steel. Uh, normal for the guts facade, fighting for just power. And steal for uh, stab bullet punch. Yeah. Uh, my next pick was Reggie Drago, but I ended up dropping that for Salamence. Who I've also used before in draft. Uh, really good. I did not know he got Hurricane, though. Um. I I was looking I was looking down I'm like whoa hold on is this hurricane that's insane I thought he was stuck with air slash I know he doesn't have any physical flying type moves which is really bad no he has dual wing beat now right yeah he has dual wing beat um but he can be dragon dance he can be uh um choice bandit or scarf he's just really good uh my next pick was Clefairy, but when I decided to drop Cresselia for uh, Florges, I decided to drop Clefairy for Lycanroc Midnight. Uh, I've had Lycanroc Midnight once before in the league, and I did not bring him once, so I don't know what he does. Um, <laughs> he'd be so much better if he had a Cell Rock, but he does not, which is sad. Um... He does have no guard for Stone Edge. He has Trailblaze, so I can set up. Imagine if he had Fissure, that'd be insane, but he does not. I'd look for it. Uh, now my final Terra Captain is Avalug with Terra Ice, Terra Fighting, and Terra Ghost. Ice because I had to have a stab, I believe. I might not have had to have a stab. I know in one of the leagues I, mean, I had to have a stab and the other one I didn't. I, don't, I, think, I don't know. I might be completely wrong about that. Terra Fighting for Body Press. And then Terra Ghost so I can uh, not be weak to fighting type anymore. And also, so I can um, block rapid, rapid spin. But uh, he's insanely good defensively. And throwing on the stab body press is just great. And he gets iron defense, and he gets recover. Honestly, he's quite possibly better than Hariyama as a Terramon, despite being on such lower points. But, like, dude, Avalog is such a great Terramon. And finally, my final pick. I wanted sticky rubs, but the sticky rubs users kept going away, so I got stuck with Levani. It gets sticky rubs, that's why it's on my team. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. It's got 92 speed with uh, 103 attack. If they switch that around, 
103 speed with 92 attack. I mean, no, because he's got chlorophyll. So it boosts his speed anyway, but he's not terrible. And he has sticky webs to slow the opponents down. He has swords dance, he has synthesis. He gets reflect and light screen. Oh, dude. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay awesome. I don't know. I'll see you next time.